Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor got into the shave today and well it's also Merry Christmas. It's that time of year. And we're going to be using Sterling's Christmas Eve. Well it is Christmas Eve and I'm doing the shave so well it's Christmas Eve morning. So, <clears throat> so you should see this coming out on Christmas Day. So people are probably going to be busy. Well maybe I should put it in. Uh, smells good. It just smells like a Christmas tree. Sound, smells like a South Carolina pine forest or a Minnesota pine forest for that matter. Christmas Eve from Sterling. Wonderful furry scent. Not animal fur, but tree fur. Yeah, that. And then we have the first use of the Astro Blades with the Rockwell 6S razor. So, you notice the theme here. Everything's red and green. <laughs> it's like Christmas Eve. Yeah, and then we'll follow it up with like, well, Old Spice. Now, if I did have some Christmas Eve aftershave to go with Splash, I would use it. But I didn't get any because, well, when I ordered mine and got it last, what, guys, three years ago, two years ago, how long it's been, they didn't have any. So, what can you do? So, all right. So, let's get the shave on. So, how's your day going? Hopefully, you're having a good holiday. It's been good. So, oh. for the first time in a long time, sort of have that Christmassy spirit. There used to be a time it was like Christmas rolling around. It's like, oh, it's the day after Thanksgiving. It's like the lights come on, you know, Christmas light, the lawn ornaments are out and on, etc. You have it already beforehand, but that was how it used to be. And then, well, Things changed, like health went to hell in a handbasket, and then I quit putting all to it. It all happens like when you got to the point where you weren't feeling good enough to, healthy enough to climb up on a ladder to put the lights up, and then, you know, it's like, this kind of affects you. Kind of burned out. You know, like consumerism of the, the whole thing. Yeah. But for this year, actually, for the first time in three years, we put the tree up, so that's kind of helpful. Oh, plate four with the razor? I don't think I ever show it very often, but it's a three-piece razor, just like any other three-piece razor. Except it has, comes with three plates, which have a number on both sides. And Um, like here's the plates like this we got two plates here's the other two and let's see which one is this this is the the six and it should be the three no five six and the five plate here and this is the uh, one and this should be the three there's the one and three plate here this one is the 2-4 plate there. I already got in there. So, you just, like any three-piece razor, you put the plate in with whatever number you want. It's showing. The instructions tell you uh, which one goes where. So, you look at the number. If you see the number, that's what you, you have in. So, you got one number on one side and the other. So, it's an adjustable razor. Unlike... Uh, like my uh, Fat Boy Slim and uh, Black Beauty razors, which have numbers which you can adjust to. But with those, you uh, adjust, you know, you got between one and nine. So one is your least aggressive, nine is your most aggressive. So as you click it, it gets opens up the gap more. So. But I find that uh, the Fat Boy provides the best shape no matter what setting you're in. Slim's the next, but then my Black Beauty is sloppy. And so I got, there are times I feel like I, I need to just have it on the one because that's the least aggressive and it feels the gap is uh, like a th 
they seem like the gap on a one or a two with the black beauty is about the same as the uh, um, three or four on the slim. Just the fact that the tolerances are not as good, but. Ah, yes, Christmas. That has always been it's like when uh, I was a young lad living in Minnesota, we would, you know, we had a lot of trees. You know, it's like, it stands to reason when you live around. And every year, my brother and I, my older brother, would we were tasked with uh, finding the, the Christmas tree for the year. So we were always looking at the trees that summer and we would go out and it's like, all right, that's a good candidate or that's a good candidate. And it's like, all right, that looks like the best one we're going to pick for this year's Christmas tree. We'd wander the woods and everything. Usually the best ones are always found on the edge tree line because they get the most sun. And grow the best, most fullest, you know, get that nice wedge shape, balsifer. And we'd go and take the toboggan out with the bow saw and cut it down and drag it back to the house. And uh, put it up, Dad would made it we had a big old bucket big old uh galvanized steel bucket dad had a um, cross section thing that he made with uh, a couple boards and we'd nail it to the bottom of the tree and put it up in the bucket and fill it full of water and always worked good the tree would stay up until uh, usually the weekend after the New Year's and we'd take it down. And nothing like that scent, you know, and you bring in a fresh, fresh, freshly cut tree that's just been cut and you start smelling that pine scent and the whole house would smell like it. Uh, which is smelling now that it's like brings back memories. So I had to have a tree up. Usually it was the first weekend. We put the tree up about the first weekend of December, and I think it was, and it stayed, yeah, about the, the weekend after New Year's. We never had any problem with the. Uh, Needle falling because it's a fairly fresh tree. Yeah, there was a few years where as we got older, you know, we would put a tree up because we like I described it before. Where we're upstairs, we had two bedrooms and a hallway adjacent between the two of them and we would put a get another smaller christmas tree <laughs> it was like oh that's a small one so we'd put a smaller tree up so we'd have two christmas trees the upstairs and the downstairs and then the main li big one that was always uh, about a seven foot tree roughly we'd get it Sometimes we cut it a little bit bigger, but we always had to cut, sometimes cut it down to size so it would fit in the uh, living room. But the smaller one we always had upstairs. First time we did it, you know, my, like, why'd you do that? We wanted another Christmas tree. We liked this, how it smells. We like how it looks. We decorate that one too. I'm like, okay. Didn't put anything underneath it. It was just for like it ended up like we'd leave it on at night. 
Nothing like the uh, look of the that reddish kind of light you get in the, from all of the uh, Christmas lights. You know, it only took about one strand of lights to put on it. But yeah. <sighs> And the most interesting Christmas Eve I ever had would have been, I think it was 76. I think it was, or, yeah, 76. Christmas of 76. And, and I think Star Wars came out in 77. So yeah, it was 76. And, let's see. I was looking outside because it was a kind of a snowy Christmas, and I was always in charge of decorating the Christmas, putting the Christmas lights outside, and I'd put them on the. Cause we always had these, uh, like, oh, oh, uh, they're white cedar trees, you know, around the house. And I would put the Christmas lights on those outside of the big giant bulb ones outside. And I'd help you know, put out the ones on the house on the eaves and everything with my dad to do that one. But I would always hold everything while he was doing it. I did the rest of it. And I was, it's like the snow would fall on everything and so the lights were underneath the snow. So it gives you kind of a cool effect. So I was watching, just looking out the window watching it snow. And all of a sudden, I see this, the lights went, ear, ear, and kind of a flash, and all of a sudden, bam! It was like a big blue flash. I was like, what the hell is that? Lights went out. We're like, uh, we're in the dark. And all of a sudden, you see this, like, Roman candle look. And you're, like, looking outside, and it's like, the transformer that was outside on the pole by the garage exploded. <laughs> it was on fire. <laughs> like, woo, okay. And I was like... Uh, dad was like, what the heck happened? And I was like, uh, the transformer outside's on fire. And he's like, what? Because <laughs> I was like, well, you're right. It's on fire. <laughs> and you see, the because they have oil inside of them. And you get flaming hot oil just like, And you're watching it just burn into the sky. So we called up the power company and they come out with a big old truck, showed up a couple hours later. Didn't have to worry about getting cold or anything because we had wood heat. So the only time you'd have to worry about not having any wood heat was if the forest was all gone. You had no trees. <laughs> so we didn't have to worry about that. We stocked up for, you know. 15, 20 cords of wood, which get us through the winter. And so I was like watching that, and it's like, well, it's kind of dark, kind of eerie. And then they came out, and finally got to put a new pole uh, transformer up, and went, everything came back on, and we're like, yay! In the meantime, while we were waiting, we made ice cream. That was kind of an interesting Christmas Eve. Like making homemade ice cream, you're sitting there, you got to turn. And uh, we had gas heat for the, the stove. Propane, some quality propane. And Mom made up a batch of, broke out the old uh, oil lamps and lit up the house. I still got oil lamps. I got some of the ones that my parents had and they gave them to me. And we've used them many times when the power would go up. Especially when the derecho rolled through three years ago, three and a half years ago, however long ago. We were living by candle and lamplight.
you sit there and you turn this thing making ice cream and you needed salt and ice or snow we had plenty of snow <laughs> it's like several feet of it on the ground oh yeah Oh, we had a little dessert now and then. Power company was done, the lights came on. And... Watch a movie. That was on. Usually, we'd, Christmas Eve, we always stayed up. But, you know, parents would say, all right, it's midnight. Gotta get to bed. Like any good kid. You couldn't wait to get up in the morning to like get down there and see what was waiting for you under the tree. No oh, man, Santa brought me underwear and socks again this year. This sucks. <laughs> Yeah, typically the best gifts were always from my grandparents. They would send stuff for everybody. You get at least something. One thing I always enjoyed, it's like we had the uh, woolen mills. The midi wool mills there, and quite a few times as a kid would get a uh, wool shirt and wool this or whatever that would hand you know for you know the oldest of us you know my older brother and I would usually get that because they knew that once we got well outgrow a bit that the next my younger brothers would end up inheriting the stuff. That'll be a weeper here. Everything's red, I guess. That is the reason. <sighs> Alright. And Christmas Day was always sit around and have a big meal and usually turkey. So my mom and dad like turkey. They like eating the stuff. You know. Never been a turkey fan. I've always been a ham fan. So that's why when for Christmas and Thanksgiving New Year we always have a ham. Hmm. Ah. Ooh, dingy. Right here. Ah, smells good. A little bit of old spice to go with that. That uh, pine notes. All right, there's an affiliate link down below. So if you got anything you want from the Razor Company, go ahead and click on it. Eventually, we'll get to that point where I'm going to do a giveaway. All right, so that. Shave Today was brought to you by Sterling's Christmas Eve. Excellent scent if you like a fur scent. I don't know if they still carry this or not. I haven't looked at their website in probably six months. I was like, I, I, I avoid looking at shaving stuff. Let's just put it that way. Uh, 
lucky enough, I have enough uh, stuff I got received from other individuals to keep me going with new stuff. But man, it's like you get in there and you go, ooh, I want that. I would like to have that. Try that one. Uh, if you don't look at it, you don't get as tempted as much. So, there. All right, we had the first use of Astro Blades with the Rockwell 6S Razor. Excellent shaver. Does the job really good. Really appreciate it. All right, so that's the shave day, everybody. Hope you guys like it. Have a Merry Christmas. Rusty out.